guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Thank you for asking. I don't know why I picked up on this. I don't even know what this is, but I picked up on it, so I guess that's part of the intro now. Um, I know, I look the exact same as I did yesterday. It's weird, it's almost like I filmed in the same day. <laughs> weird, it's not like my Pokemon right there or anything. <laughs> no, we didn't see that. I have Chewbacca right by me though, so. I feel like I kind of, I don't owe you an excla exclamation, Kate. Can you English? I don't necessarily owe you an explanation as to why I've been gone for the past like week and a half, but uh, I feel like I should tell you in case it happens again, um, which it shouldn't happen again, but we'll find out. I it <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so I I explained this on you now. If you follow me on you now, you should do that because it's just live streaming. You just watch and I go live. It's fine. Um, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, so I talked about it there, but I haven't talked about it anywhere else because I didn't feel like it was necessary at the time. Um, whereas on you now, um, I have a lot of people that are very close to me on there that I feel like I can trust and talk to and blah, 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 you know. This is also insightful to a bunch of girls out there if you're watching. Um, every year when you turn 21, you are supposed to go to a gynecologist, which is a lady doctor. It may be a male doctor, but I call him a lady doctor because she checks your lady bits. Um, and every year I've gone, um, since I've been 21, and I'm 24 now. Um, so I went about two and a half weeks ago. Um, the last time I had gone was April, because last year, I always get it done in October because it's by my birthday. Uh, last year, they're like, hey, you have too many white blood cells. You need to come back in six months. And I was like, uh, okay, I have leukemia. Just tell me I have leukemia. I, I overreact a lot, by the way. Um, so I went in in April 2016, and they're like, oh, no, you're fine. I was like, great, okay, thanks. Um, so in October, I had to go again. So I did two and a half weeks ago, and uh, everything seemed normal. Everything felt normal to me. Everything seems normal. There's nothing weird, like... I'm not bleeding 24-7, now this only happens, you know, a couple days out of the month, but, um, so everything was fine, and then, like, a week later, two days after my birthday, I get a call, um, that there was another abnormality, um, in my cervix, um, which you don't, if you don't know what the diagram of a woman is, it's like, you know, the, the vagina, and then there's a cervix, like, here, and then there's the uterus up here, so it's like a triple layer cake anyway um so on my cervix there was an abnormality that's hard to say abnormality no it's not kate you're just an idiot um so there was an abnormality and she's like can you come in on thursday and i was like sure she told me that i had a low level and this is this is where it gets kind of messed up because I, I'm gonna have to call another doctor about this because my doctor did not tell me what's wrong with me per se. She just said stuff. Um, so she told, she calls me and she tells me that I have low levels. And I was like, okay, can you tell me what low levels mean? Like, do I have low levels of red blood cells? Do I have low levels of white blood cells? Like, I don't know what low levels mean. And so she goes into like this huge like doctor term, big words, and I heard a word and then ends in uh, like testosterone, but it's like it's pigesterone or something weird like that. Basically, um, what I thought she said was, I thought she said that I, the lining of my uterus cannot hold a child. So, basically I took that as I will be able to form a child, but I can't keep the child alive inside of me. Um, and that scared me. Because, like, yeah, I joke about, you know, not wanting to have kids. I joke about how awful children are and how I never want to get pregnant. And the thought of being pregnant scares me right now. But I know in, like, five years I'm going to want kids. I just know. Because I, that's, like, I don't want kids now. I was going to say, I could want kids. No, I don't want kids now. I'm just, I'm still in the mindset of, I'm young. I want to go do things. <laughs> I have a cat, but, you know, he can go do his own thing. And I know he won't, you know, stick his finger in an electrical socket. Like, you know, but the fact that my body can take away my ability to have kids horrified me. Like, I had to ask Skylar if he still wanted to be with me, if that was the case. Like, because if he wants a future with me and if kids aren't a part of that future, a lot of people don't want to be with their significant other if they can't 
bear children and that's that's a fact and so I was like I, need it. I was a mess I found that out and then I was prepared to tell the woman like this is my history of people this is what runs in my family this is blah blah blah, blah. I was gonna tell her everything which I already do but I was gonna tell her everything I was ready um, and so I go in and the nurse sits me down she's like are you ready for your biopsy and I was like my what excuse me she's like your biopsy did she not tell you you're gonna have a biopsy and I was like no I thought I was not gonna be able to have kids and she's like oh no yeah you're fine with that you just you're gonna have a biopsy because there's a spot on your cervix and I was like it's like that meme where like this it's this that's how I was I was like Ex excuse me like did she tell me did she think I was someone else and what I don't understand so then I wait in there fidgeting like holy shit I have cancer because a spot on the cervix is cancer and so I was like okay okay calm down calm down this is fine this is fine and so I was texting Skylar because he went with me he was in the other room and I was like Skylar I got cancer I can have kids but I got cancer and the worst part is I during all this time it was happening I told my, I told like three friends about it happening and um, I was like, well, you know, at least my uterus or my, my inside isn't trying to kill me. I can't have kids, maybe, but hey, at least it's not trying to kill me. And I go in and, oh, you can have kids, but it's, it's trying to kill you. Um, so uh, the doctor comes in and she has all of these tools, like these big metal tools, like a clamp to clamp me open. And you know like those little clamping toys like this? She had one of those, but it was like a little one in metal. And she had to stick it in me and rip pieces of tissue off of my body on the inside. Um, and I looked it up and apparently it's not supposed to hurt, but sweet lord it hurt so bad after she was done with that uh she's like okay we'll have the results to you soon and i was like okay so what does the spot mean and she's like well it can mean a lot of things and i was like okay but what does it mean my first thought is cancer like i've got a tumor inside of me like she can't can you not tell me that oh it could be this oh it could be this oh it could be this or it could you know it could be this but no she was like oh it could be a lot of things so then my dumb ass has to go and google everything and i was like maybe i've got this maybe i've got this maybe i've got this this is understand because maybe i've got this it was all kinds of weird stuff i googled and the only thing that kept coming up was cancer um and so i decided to call my mom and tell her everything that happened um because i don't like to tell my mom like the majority of what i get up to just because i don't want her to like worry um, but this was something I was like, I am scared and I want my mom. Um, so I call her and she's like, oh, well, I'm going to have your aunt call you. So my aunt calls me and she tells me that cervical cancer runs in the family. Um, that happened to my grandma and it happened to her, but it's no big deal because you just get it lasered off and then it goes away forever. But... I feel like that's something you should tell someone in the family um and she said that it all happened when they were 25 and I just turned 24 so I guess I'm the early bird of this um so that was great news I probably should have told my doctor that but I didn't know so I wait and Monday I call and I ask if they got my results in because I was losing my shit. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I couldn't make videos. I tried to you now and it took all of my energy, like everything. I was so scared, I couldn't exercise because I didn't wanna open the sores that she opened in my body. Like I just, it was very, very bad and also I had started my period and she said I couldn't use tampons can I just say if you use pads I am sorry for you because holy shit that's bad I hate it was awful it was awful I never want to do that again ever 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 anyway so Monday I call and I say hey have my results come in and the nurse was like yes they have let me check real quick so she looks it up and then very sullen she comes back on the phone and goes I'm gonna have the doctor call you back um she gets off at 5 and she makes her calls around 5, so I'm going to have her get back to you, okay? And I was like, I've got fucking cancer. 
I've got cancer. Great. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, thank you, bye. And so I waited on my phone um, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and she never called. Um, so then I was kind of like, okay, the fact that she didn't call, maybe it's not this bad. Or the fact she didn't call because she's scared to give me the news, like, I'm sorry, you've got a very aggressive form of cervical cancer and you only have three months to live. Like, I didn't, I didn't know what was wrong with me because everything felt fine. Everything seemed fine. So the next day I call in the morning and I was like, hey, uh, this is Caitlin Witcher. I called yesterday. I never heard from the doctor and I'm getting kind of worried. Um, nothing's wrong. I just, I want to know what's wrong with me. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, she'll call you at the end of the day. And I was like, great. So around like 3.30, I get a call and I answer it and I'm super scared. I'm like, hello? And like, hi, she's ready to take your call. Can you wait a little bit? And I was like, sure. I wait 10 minutes on the phone for her to just tell me my results. I was prepared for like, I was just honestly, I was prepared for her to tell me that I had cancer. Um, at this point, I had already accepted it. I had already accepted that I was going to have to get chemotherapy. I was going to lose my hair. Um, remember back when I said I kind of over-exaggerate? I do. Um, but when it's, when it's cancer, it's scary. Um, especially if you're my age because you're like, I have my whole life ahead of me. And then the big C came around and here we are. So she finally gets on the phone and she's like, hi, Caitlin. Are you ready to hear your results? I'm like, yes, please. I, yes, please. And so she looks and she goes, okay, well, there's different levels. Do you know what that means? And I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to know what that means? I'm 24 and I'm a YouTuber. I'm not a doctor. I don't know it. Oh, are you levels? Like level what? Cancer, cancer, cancer? Or like cancer, cancer, cancer? Like, I don't know. And so I was like, no, I don't know the levels. Can you tell me? And she's like, sure. Level one is mild. Level two is, you know, bad. And level three is really bad. And I was like, oh, great. Thanks. Which one do I have? Cancer, cancer, or cancer? Um, and she told me that I was level one, which is mild. Um, and that's all I know. That's all I know. I mean, I know that it can go away on its own and I have to go back in April again. Um, and if it's still there, then I'm going to have to get <laughs> either radiation or I have to get it lasered or I have to take chemotherapy. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's level one of cancer. I don't know if it's level one of something else. I've Googled everything, but for the time being, I just have in my head that I have mild cervical cancer, um, which I may not. And I'm gonna turn the comments off because I, I don't wanna read what you guys, I'm sorry, and this is gonna sound mean, but I don't wanna read what you have Googled because I've Googled and you're not a doctor, I'm not a doctor. And I just don't want to read people being like, Kate, shut the fuck up. You have nothing to worry about. You need to stop over exactly. Like, I don't want to deal with that. Like I've already dealt with the fact that I thought I couldn't have kids. I dealt with the fact that I thought I had cancer and I'm dealing with the fact that I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so I'm probably gonna call another doctor and be like, hi, uh, can you explain this for me? Because my other doctor didn't. So yeah, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been dealing with. I also had to deal with my car. I don't want, my car is being dumb. I need to get a new one, but I don't need to get a new one, but I do need to get a new one. It's a long story. So I haven't been able to make videos. I didn't even want to make this, but I figured that you guys should probably know um, if I'm MIA or what. <laughs> also, I tweeted like, this is like a, week, like a week ago, I tweeted like, hey guys, can you send me positive vibes, prayers, and thoughts? And someone's like, stop being so melodramatic, you're not dying. And I was like, well, honey child, I hate to break it to you, but I kind of am. So this is when I thought I had like terminal, but I didn't respond because you don't respond to haters, am I right? Um, but I was just like, okay, block, whatever, I'm not dealing with this. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm scratching my arms a lot, I'm sorry. Um, really anxious, I don't like talking about this. But, uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, I'll be okay. Um, I just ask that you guys stay strong for me. Um, because I can only stay strong for so long. Um, but we'll find out in April if, you know, the spot has gone away. Or we'll find out if it's gotten worse and if I need to take drastic action. 
Um, but for right now, I'm okay. For right now, I just need to focus on you guys and Thor and Skylar and video games. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for understanding why I've disappeared. It's been kind of a stressful year, hasn't it? The only good thing that came out of 2006, can we just, the only good thing that came out of this year was the fact that Leo won an Oscar. That's the only good thing. It's a fluff, sorry. Can you think of anything else good that came out of this? No, me either. Me either. <laughs> and we're gonna find out in a couple of days who's gonna be the president of the United States of America. And guess what, it's not me. I'm sorry, I got like two votes. Thor got more than I did, but you know, whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being understanding. Please don't tweet me about this. <laughs> Another thing, if I turn off comments, please don't tweet me about it. Um, I just don't, don't wanna deal with it. I've already dealt with it. Now all I can do is wait until April. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys. Um, but don't worry, Kate's okay so far. PSA though, girls, go to the gynecologist, get checked up. Guys, go to a doctor, get checked up. Just make sure everything's okay, um, because everything would feel fine, and then everything cannot be fine. So, uh, just make sure you keep yourself in check, alright? Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a fantastic day and other fun stuff. Thank you for watching, really. Um, I'm sorry if this was too dramatic for you. I was gonna say I'm sorry if you don't believe me, but... <laughs> I'm not sorry if you don't believe me. If you don't believe me, then you're... S Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow and stuff. Goodbye! Okay,